Hey guys, so today is October 1st, 2015, which if you are a big nerd or even a small nerd, you probably know what that means. It is the day that Marty McFly and Doc Brown travel to the future and back to the future too. So we have been waiting for this day for years before I was, not before I was born, yeah, before I was born, because <laughs> Back to the Future 2 came out in 89. It was released probably a few months before I was born. So if you haven't seen it, Back to the Future 2 makes a lot of predictions for how the world is going to look in 2015. So I kind of wanted to go over what they got right and what they got wrong. And what they were kind of on the nose about. So weirdly enough, Back to the Future 2 got a lot right about 2015. So you have to think that in 1989, a lot of technology was not like it is today. Computers were completely different. Phones, cell phones were hardly a thing. And they were like this big. You had to talk like, hello! But they did get some stuff right. So a big thing that they showed in Back to the Future 2 was lots of big like plasma screens and lots of them in one household or one room. And that is a reality now in 2015. I mean, you have 3D TVs and LCD TVs are pretty commonplace. We have two in our living room. And so it's just, it's very commonplace to have more than one flat screen TV in your house. And that was not a thing in even like 10, 15 years ago. That was not a thing. The big boxy TVs with the huge back so you can stick them flat against the wall. So another thing, they got completely right, and who could have seen this coming? Um, they have like video conferencing in the movie, and I mean, now I have Skype on my phone, and that is a direct video talking to someone on video right there, and I, you can do it on your TV, your laptop, your phone, it's ridiculous. <laughs> And we can do it. And that was like a huge, whoa, what if we could do this in the future type of thing. So another thing they got right were drones. There's a scene outside the courthouse where you can see all these like flying drones like for news and stuff like that. And although we don't use them for news and stuff like that yet, I think we will in the future. And I mean, they're already talking about using drones to deliver packages and stuff like that from Amazon. And drones are just like a thing now. They weren't back in 1989. So another thing, and it's like my favorite, one of my favorite scenes in the movie because it has a very little tiny, tiny Elijah Wood. They talk about hands-free gaming. And they find this old arcade machine, and it has a stick, and Elijah Wood like, that's a baby's toy. Because using any kind of control to play a video game is completely alien to them. And although we're not quite that far gone, we still have controllers. You have the Kinect and all that kind of stuff where you don't need a controller. You are the controller to play a video game. So another thing that seemed completely alien when you were first watching the movie, but seemed really cool and you wanted it, were video glasses. And now, I mean, they have, they're developing and they're not like mass sold yet. I think they're really expensive. But we're getting there. They have video glasses like uh, Google Glass and Oculus and yeah, they're incredible. But another thing, Back to the Future 2 called. Another thing that was a big theme in Back to the Future 2 was nostalgia. The cafe 80s and they had this um, store with like all these old 80s um, electronics like this ridiculously small bulky computer screen. And that is a thing for us. Nostalgia is like a huge thing. Everyone is always posting about, here's these things that you had in the 90s that you can't have anymore and all that stuff. And that is nostalgia and that's like a huge thing. Now we're going to kind of transition over to where they almost have things that they predicted in 1989 that are almost, almost there. So apparently they tried back in 2011 to, to um, replicate Marty's self-tying shoes where he just puts them in and they around his feet. Um, but apparently it didn't work too great. Um, but I guess now they are developing a new line of shoes with self-tying 
laces. <laughs> it just sounds really lazy. Another thing, and this is the biggest thing that people latch on to about Back to the Future 2, why? Because it's awesome and we all want one, are the hoverboards. Now, the hoverboards in the movie are very high tech and we are not anywhere near, I'm pretty sure, the hoverboards in Back to the Future 2, but now we have those crazy things that it seems like every YouTuber has, except for me, um, where you stand on them and you can glide around and I'm glad I don't have one because I would die. I would, I would get horribly, horribly hurt. So another thing they were kind of half right, half not right on was fashion. Um, <laughs> in Back to the Future 2, there's this whole thing where guys wear two ties at the same time, and it's really weird looking, and thankfully that has not caught on yet. But as far as fashion goes in the movie, some of it may seem a little dramatic and theatric, but it's really not that far off from the stuff we wear now. The fashion is very 80s driven and like 80s futuristic and to be honest, it's a lot like what we wear now. <laughs> well, at least some of us. I mean, leggings came back and leg warmers came back within the last four years. So yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not too far off really. Let's talk about things that did not not come true. Some for very good reasons. Some I really wish had. In the movie there's this big advertisement for Jaws 19. Now back in that day Jaws was a huge movie franchise and I don't know if they were doing it to be funny or they really hoped that there would be 19 of them. I think it was more they thought they were being funny. But thankfully Jaws ended at Jaws 4 and we have not seen one since. But with the way things have been going, I'm sure we'll see a reboot pretty soon. Another thing is, in the movie, they had two the second weather predictions. And that is still, uh, still not a thing. You can predict the weather and it will totally backstab you. So, so another really sad thing that was in Back to the Future 2 that was not possible for it to come true was um, in the newspaper there is these two big articles about Queen Diana. It's really sad that that's not a reality because Diana died 16 years? 18 years. About 18 years after, it was 96 or 97, so it was either 17 or 18 years after Back to the Future 2 came out. So another thing I really wish was a real thing in 2015, but it's not, is they're sitting around the dinner table at Marty McFly's future home and mom pulls out this little tiny pizza and she puts it in this thing called the rehydrator and when she pulls it out it's a pizza that's huge and looks amazing, but that's not a thing. <laughs> and I wish it was. So another thing I really wish was a thing in 2015 is there are clothes that are not only self-adjusting so that you buy this pretty much way bigger than you need size and it adjusts to fit you. Not only that, but they were self-drying clothes and that was awesome. But we don't have those. Last but not least, of course, it's been a futuristic thing in so many movies, flying cars. Now, of course, they are developing flying cars, and, I mean, they're very compact and sleek, and unfortunately, the DeLorean fell by the wayside, which is very sad, because DeLoreans are very cool-looking cars, um, but we don't have flying cars yet, and I think even once they refine the technology and streamline it and get them selling in the open market, I don't think it's going to be a, like bam, we switch to flying cars. That's just going to be way too expensive. There's no way. So I think that would definitely be a progression thing. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you watch Back to the Future 2 today. Maybe make an all-day trilogy event and drink some Pepsi and eat some Pizza Hut, even though Pepsi is disgusting because those were two featured, like, big featured products in Back to the Future 2. I love you, all my fellow nerds, so much, and I will see you later.
burp, burp. I want a DeLorean so bad. Ooh, that hat is warm. Burp, 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 burp. We can do this. Uh, 